One of the hardest hit states right now is Nebraska, which has a seven day average of about 1,700 new cases and 974 hospitalizations, which is a new record. Nebraska now preparing for a rollout of a vaccine to curb the pandemic, but Pfizer's cold storage could prove to be a big challenge for rural areas. Joining me now with more on their distribution plan, Nebraska Governor Pete Ricketts. Governor, it's great to have you. Welcome. Great. Thank you very much for having me on. How quickly uh, do you think people in your state are going to receive this vaccine? Which vaccine are they getting and uh, who's getting it? Well, according to the reports we're seeing right now, Pfizer has turned in their information to the FDA. And if the FDA meets on December 10th and approves it, it could be as early as uh, getting shipped to us, maybe December 12th. And that's the one, of course, that has to be kept ultra cold. It will, my understanding, be shipped directly to hospitals. But of course, that works out because our healthcare workers are the people we're going to be prioritizing first to get the vaccine. And then with regard to distribution across the state, we will work uh, with regard to making sure we can uh, get it to places where it can be distributed and still kept ultra cold and just, you know, used quickly so that the vaccine stays good. So who's picking uh, the vaccine recipients here? Is it the federal government telling you guys or do they say, you know, they tell you some portion of it? Do they leave it up to you? Do you then leave it up to local officials? How's that work? Yeah, so it's really a collaborative process. The CDC has issued guidelines with regard to who they think should be prioritized. We at the state are working on our own plan, which really closely mirrors the CDC plan. I mean, it makes a lot of sense, right? You want to start with long-term care workers, health care workers. The people are going to be interfacing directly with people who are coronavirus positive. So get those people the vaccine first, and then we'll be rolling it out to, uh, you know, moving beyond just the staff at long-term care facilities to the residents who may be more vulnerable, uh, to first responders, uh, other folks who are going to be in that more vulnerable category. So what we're going to do is create our own plan based on the CDC guidance and then work with our local public health officials to be able to actually execute that plan on the ground so that we really be our, our local public health people putting it into place in each different community, but with the guidance from the state and the CDC. Yeah. How many doses do you get? Is it based on state population or state need? And what happens if there are healthcare workers who choose not to receive theirs? Yeah, so we are going to be getting it, we were told, on a per capita basis. So we'll have to obviously wait and see. If you, uh, you know, think that there's going to be 6 million that get it initially done with Pfizer, that would be roughly 38,000 would come to Nebraska. Uh, we will then send that to the hospitals and so forth to be able to distribute that. And with regard to the healthcare workers themselves, if they are choosing not to get the vaccine, that's really going to be a policy issue for that individual hospital to deal with. That's really not going to be something we at the state are going to intervene with. And I wonder, as we look at the COVID cases that you have now, are there any regrets about not doing a statewide mask mandate uh, sooner? You know, and I, I ask the question, knowing that, that the outcome state by state does not seem to be directly correlated to whether these mask mandates are in place, but is more complicated than that. So uh, that said, knowing what you know now, would, the, would it have been useful to say to people, you know, even a month ago, two months ago, you know, hey, it's time to get this going? Well, we have uh, directed health measures that do include requiring masks in businesses where you have staff and patrons that are closer than six feet for 15 minutes, which is really the appropriate use of a mask, right? If you're going to be closer than 16, six feet for 15 minutes or more, you ought to be masked up. And so we've got that in our DHM right now. And so the steps we have taken have really been based upon the information that we have uh, at the time we had it. So, uh, you know, we are taking those steps to be able to slow the spread of the virus here in our state and really trying to strike that balance to make sure that we're uh, preserving our hospital capacity. Uh, our hospitalizations actually are down today from uh, the number that you gave at the outset earlier. And uh, they've really kind of leveled mm -hmm. out for the last week. And so we're hopeful that that maybe is a plateau and that we don't see them going back up. But of course, we're urging people at Thanksgiving to celebrate in small groups so we, don't, so we can slow the spread of the virus here. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.